<laughs> Courtney Gypsy standing by with your Hollywood headlines. I know it, I know it. But first, let me tell you about this. Maybe you want Jesse Williams fired from Grey's Anatomy. Maybe you don't. There's a petition just for you. The fiery acceptance speech Williams gave at the BET Awards last month has led to dual petitions on change.org. One to have the star booted from the show and the other to keep him on. You may remember while receiving the 2016 BET Humanitarian Award, Williams spoke extensively on race in the U.S. Both petitions have signatures in the tens of thousands, but it doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Grey's Anatomy creator Shonda Rhimes tweeted her support for the actor. Boo don't need a petition. But how about that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Code. The much rumored sequel to The yeah. Goonies might be off the table. Yeah. At least according to Corey Feldman. Mm -hmm. uh, in an interview with the movie web, the actor says that it's too late now to make a Goonies 2. And with that each passing day, the chances of it happening get less and less. But the film's original director, Richard Donner, confirmed in 2014 that a script for the sequel was actually in the works. The Goonies was released back in 1985 and featured breakout roles for Feldman along with Josh Brolin and Sean Austin. So I was looking hey at his quote. Guys. His actual quote was Richard Donner is 87 years old and it's not like no one wants to make it without him. He's a driving force behind him. When you get to that age, things slow down a qu quite a bit. Mm. Day by day, it's good. I was like, Corey, clearly Dang. you don't work for Hallmark. Dang. Right? Yeah, what are you trying to say? And he should be Jeez. pushing for that because he kind of needs the work. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> how about that? Like, man. How about that? <laughs> and how about this? Chrissy Teigen might have been in a swim, uh, might have been a swimsuit model, but that doesn't mean she actually wore them in the water. Turns out neither Teigen nor her Grammy Award winning husband John Legend know how to swim. <laughs> But all of that is about to change thanks to the couple's 11-month-old bundle of joy. Tegan tells People magazine that ever since baby Luna was born, she and dad both plan to learn how to swim in an effort to be better parents. That's very smart. Mm -hmm. That is the smart thing to do for sure. All right, and that 90s hit 90s song, Wannabe, has been spiced up to promote gender equality. Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Filmmaker MJ Delaney is behind this gull power remix of the Spice Girls classic. In the background of the video are signs calling for what women really, really want, and that's equal pay, education, and an end to child marriage. Former Spice Girl Victoria Beckham, also known as Spice, Posh Spice, says that she thinks that the video is a great idea. That's awesome. I love that. Great message, too. I love it. Awesome. And that's the end of your Hollywood headlines. There you go. Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Court. Court. Ah! All right, Stark, let's talk about this awesome streak of weather we're having. Well, you know, Richard Donner is 87, Marianne, so I don't know. Just day by day. Things start to slow down. Yeah, it slows down, Marianne. You know, this Delta Breeze won't last forever. It's. Wow. Thank you, Morbid Man. I'm, I'm Corey Feldman. <laughs>